saying, hey, just, just ask for forgiveness. And, and, and you'll be given and granted it. And you'll be given a, this new chance. It's not. Our chance is now. Do we choose Jesus or do we choose the world? Do we choose life or do we choose death? Amen? Do we choose love or do we choose despair and anxiety and depression as we walk this world alone? Amen? With nothing to grab on to. Well, Jesus is here for us and God sent him. Amen? He sent him. Out of all the love that he has for us, every single one of us, amen? And all the blessings and promises in the word become available to us. It's amazing. How can anyone walk away from what God has given us so freely by just saying, just repent, just ask for forgiveness? Do you really want to walk this life alone and walk in wondering, what is for my life? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do it? I can't get through it. The storm's too rough. The winds are too hard. Uh, the bills are too high. Or do you want to call on Jesus and say, Jesus, take control. I don't want control anymore. You take control. You have control. You worry. I'm casting my worries upon you. I'm casting them upon the waves that are coming watching them drift back out with the mess they got. I'm giving them over to you, oh Lord God. Amen? And it's his love, his love that came down to earth from heaven because Jesus was in heaven. He chose to come here. Amen? He was in heaven. He had a man. He didn't have to come to this place. He didn't, you know, he came out of love and obedience to his Father God. He had it made. Every one of us are trying to hopefully work out our salvation with fear and trembling, working it out to make sure that, that when that horn blows, when he appears in the sky as in the book of Thessalonians, and with all the angels and the armies of heaven, and he blows that horn, that we are caught up in the sky, amen, and that we are with him, amen. He was already there. He had it made, amen. But he chose to come down from there and to be with us, amen, and to walk life out with us and to go through the pain and the suffering and the separation and the, and the mocking and all the things that he endured. A man with no home, a man with nowhere to lay his head, a man that could have stayed in heaven as a spirit, as God's son, who came down out of love for you and I. The value in that, the amazing value in that, the amazing thank you, Lord, when we praise God, when we worship Him, when we raise our hands, and we say, thank you, Lord. Amen. Let us not do that from a place of just a vague sense of, of what he did for us. Let's meditate upon it. Let's think about it. Amen. Where would you be without Jesus? Amen. Every single one of you, where would you be without his love? Where would you be without his sacrifice? Without his sacrifice to walk out of heaven and to be here with us. Amen. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to that day to get caught up in the sky. I'm looking forward to a day when I can walk with Felix in the heavenly places. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's waiting for us. And he says, hi, how you doing? You want a piece of candy? No, my beard's on a piece of candy. Amen. And it'll be a heavenly piece of candy and the best candy you ever had. Amen. Tell us from heaven. And we're going to be there with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God for that wonderful day. Amen. All because of God's love. All because of his sacrifice. Amen. Praise God. Sometimes I am overwhelmed. I am just overwhelmed. I am awed by God's great love. How he loves us. How he loves us. If you haven't touched God's, God's love, just open up your heart and let it be. One drop of his love is enough to change your life forever. His grace. 
great and unfailing love. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. A love that never fails. It always endures. Amen. The love of God that he has for you. Amen. For he didn't come into this world to condemn this world or condemn you or judge you. He came here to save you. He came here to grab you out of the devil's hand and say, you're coming to my son and I'm going to my son. I love you. Come on with me. Amen. That's Jesus. Amen. He wasn't a meek little guy. He was a tough man. I mean, when things came along that were wrong, he didn't shy and shirk and run away or look for somebody else to handle it. He stood up to those Pharisees. He said, you're not the one of brood of vipers. Who are you to think to tell me what to do? Do you not know who I am? Amen? He walked into the temple and he threw the tables of the money changers out and said, this house is not a house for this to be happening in. It's a house of prayer. He was tough. He's our protector, our defender, our provider. He's the one we call on when the storms are rough. We say, Lord, this storm's a little rough this week. It's a little rough this morning. It's a little rough tonight when I heard some bad news, maybe over the phone or something. How do I handle this one, Lord? Amen. You know what? You call on the name of Jesus, and a life preserver comes flying out to you from heaven, and he says, grab onto it, I got this. Amen. That's God. That's Jesus. Amen. Man, he's my superhero. Amen. You know, Superman can fly. Aquaman goes under the water. All these guys do all this different stuff. Amen. Man, I ain't got nothing on Jesus. Amen. He heals with his hands. He moves from one place to the other. How many mobs came after Jesus and they were going to take him? And it just says, and he walked away. How'd he do that? There's a mob around you. How'd you just walk away? You become invisible? How did you do that? Amen? That's, that's the super, one of the superpowers that he had. He had the power to walk in a lumber colony without fear of being, having disease put on him and him to become leprous. Amen? He wore, he wore a, an armor that was, you couldn't shake him, you couldn't move him. He knew why he had came. He knew why he was there. He came for you. Amen. And when he came for you, nothing was going to stop him to get to you and to help you with all that you need. Amen. That's the superhero, Jesus Christ. Amen. J.C. is a J.C. Big cross. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. And he overwhelms me. He overwhelms me with his love, amen? He just grabs us. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. He wraps us in his, in his, in his like a warm blanket of loving kindness. He wraps us up and keeps us safe and secure. He protects us. Hallelujah. He provides security. Man, I feel secure. My anchor is lodged in the rock, amen? And I feel secure, you know what I mean? Do you feel secure? No, yes. Jesus, does he provide you some security? Yes. Amen. We be, he's the anchor. He's the rock. He's the ability to throw the anchor. He's the thought in your head saying throw the anchor. He's all in all in all, amen? That's our Jesus. Amen. He's with us every step of the way. Amen. And I want to lift him up today. I want to boast about him. I want to talk about my master. I want to talk about my king today. That's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about how great and awesome is he, Jesus Christ. Amen. Because he is. Because he is. He is an awesome God. He's an awesome Savior. An awesome Lord. Amen. He's a chain breaker. Amen. Never this life. He's a chain breaker. He's a, what is it? A tail, take it out of the tail, whatever it is, you know? He's amazing. He's the one that you might feel caught like you, like you were talking about in a prison of praise like in, last week. Amen. Here comes Jesus. Says praise. All of a sudden, the chains fall off, the gates swing wide, and then the soldiers fall asleep, and then walk out with angels. 
angels on both sides. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he inhabits our praise. Whoa. That's who we have in Jesus. That's who we have in Tom. Why wouldn't you call on the name of Jesus? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Tell everybody to say it. Say Jesus. Come on, say it like you mean it. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. What a great thing to say. The name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Praise God. Like that song they sang today in worship. There is no name like Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And when we call on him, he provides. He provides for all our needs. More than we deserve, more than we should have, more than we thought we could ever have. Supernaturally, somehow, he works in miracles. He works in, and, 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 and he just blows our minds sometimes. Amen? He overwhelms us sometimes. Like, how did this happen? How did we get through this? How did this bill get paid? I see people on Facebook that say, something happened, you know, I need help in an area of my life or something. And then you look later in the day, Christians came from everywhere and helped me with this problem. Thank you, Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah! We're part of a kingdom. Amen? And he's the king. Amen. That is good. That is good. Amen? So he provides for all our needs. Amen? Through others, through our church, through our communities, through people at work that love Jesus. Amen? In our prayer life, he provides for our needs, whatever they may be. I don't know what your needs are probably not the same as my needs, as my needs aren't the same as your needs, but I know the answer is the same. Call on the name of Jesus, and, you're, and whatever it is that you're looking for, you will have it. Amen? Come into agreement with somebody. Go find somebody to get into agreement with. It. Amen? Hallelujah. I had times, you know, where I go through spiritual warfare and things are attacking me and things are happening in my life. I go find somebody that I know is anointed in prayer and I can get to pray with them. I say, let's get into agreement. I find a brother. I find my prayer partner. I call someone on the phone. I am not allowing the devil to have a foothold in my life. Amen? We got to learn to put him under our feet, church. Amen? And cry out in the name of Jesus, by the authority of your name that you have given to us, we are going to put you under our feet, we're going to kick your teeth out, we're going to set you away from us, because you have no authority over a Christian believer, a child of the one true God. You have no authority at all over any of us in this place, not in the morning, not in the night, not at work, not on the bus, not in your car, no way. The devil has no authority over you. You do not have to let him have his way in your life. You don't have to give in to that sin. You don't have to give in to the, into that, that problem or whatever, that addiction that you're dealing with. You don't have to give in to it, amen? Because I'm telling you what, he is on your side. Jesus is with you. He will never forsake you. He's there when you call for him. He's there when you pray to him. He's always interceding to you and for you, amen? Amen. You don't have to give in. You got to learn how to tell the devil to get lost. Yes, get away from me. You got no place here. Who do you think you are messing with me? I'm a son of, I'm a brother, I'm a friend to Jesus Christ. Amen. And he's in me, he's with me, he's for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Get away from me. Amen. Get out of the door. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you guys awake? Yes. I'll wake you up around here a little bit today. Hallelujah. Can you say hallelujah? Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Life, life sometimes can get a little rough, can it? It can send you a curveball. Amen. And we think everything is going in one direction, and suddenly everything goes another way. And we go, oh, that wasn't the plan. How did I get here? Amen. It can be rough like that, amen? We wonder how did it happen, amen? The storms on the windswept ocean, they come. They come. But all of a sudden we go, how are we going to make it through this, amen? They come. Storms of all kinds. Storms of all kinds. Some storms are little teeny thunderstorms. They rain for five minutes, and they're gone. Other storms are category five hurricanes. 
and they roll and, and they stay a little while. Amen? But I'm telling you, whatever storm you're in, we know who raises his hand over the storms. Amen? It puts time to the sea. Amen? What's his name? Jesus. Hallelujah. You know his name. He didn't just call back. You can call on his name when you're in that storm. Amen? You just say Jesus. You might not be a prayer person or you don't know all these eloquent words. Maybe you hear people talking about in church. It ended up about the eloquency of your prayer life. Amen? It's about that you're just speaking to Jesus. Jesus, I need help. That's the best prayer you'll ever need to know. I need help. Amen? Because you'll send that lifeline. Amen? Hallelujah. Sometimes it can feel like we're just going uphill. And then we're just going up hill. It's getting steeper and steeper. And we're just getting tired and tired going up the hill. It's a rough climb. Amen? And it is. Yes. But it's then that he sent eagles to grab you up. Amen? And take you the rest of the way. Amen? Hallelujah. He put, he says, you are under the covering of my wings. I've got you covered. I will give you peace. I will renew your strength. Hallelujah. I will revive your spirit. Amen. And take you up that hill. I'll make it work out for you. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, if you're going up that hill right now, cry out to Jesus, move that hill. I want a level playing field. It's time to use your faith to move that mountain, move that hill. If you can move mountains, you sure can move the hill. Amen. So just be ready to move those hills. Amen. Use your faith to weapon. It's a great weapon your faith. Believe it in Jesus. Amen. For those that believe, for those that believe, they shall have everlasting life. Amen. I will never leave them. I will always be with them. I will always love them. Till the end of eternity, I will love them. Amen. You are so loved. So loved. Amen. Hallelujah. And it's in those times where we deal with those storms. Amen. That's the time to lift your hands and praise Jesus. And say, thank you, Lord, for all the storms you've brought me through before. Thank you for all the pain in my joints you've brought me through. Thank you for this trouble and that trouble. And I didn't know I was going to do it, but it, but it, it, it worked itself out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for being the king of my life. Thank you, Jesus. I want to praise your holy name. I want to lift you higher, higher, higher. Hallelujah. I want to go higher with you, Lord. I want to go farther with you, Lord. I want to move out with you, Lord. The, there's no limits with you, Lord. I want to live in a place where there's no boundaries, no limits, Father God. It, 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 with you, I'm uh, moving in your love, moving in your in faith, oh Lord. I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper. I want to go deeper into your word. I want to go deeper, deeper, deeper. I want, to, I want you to go, let your rivers of living water flow deeper into my heart, into the recesses of my heart that I didn't even know weren't open to you till this day. I want you to go, and I want you to flood them with your living water. Take me, O oh Lord. I surrender, O oh Lord. I give you my life, O oh Lord. Amen? That's Jesus. Amen? And you know what? He always says, yes. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Amen. So we praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. No matter what the situation, we know we're never alone. Amen. And right now, I'm going to move ahead a little bit to uh, a poem that I know, because this poem, you know, in a lot of different places, I used to carry it in my wallet. It's called Footprints. It's a beautiful, eloquently read very wise poem, amen? Hallelujah, footprints. And it starts like this. One night, I had a dream. I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flew scenes from my life. For each scene, I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. 
one lying to me and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand. I noticed that many times along the path of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in my life. This really bothered me. And I questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I decided to follow you, you'd walk with me all the way. But I've noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there is only one set of footprints. I don't understand why when I need you most, you'd leave me. The Lord replied, my precious child, I love you. I would never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. Amen. 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 Carried in the loving arms of Jesus. When you don't think you can go any farther, He's there to carry you. When you don't think you can handle it, you can do it, He's there to carry you. Call on his name, walk and choose to walk with him. Amen. And when you start getting tired going up that hill, he'll say, Lay back, my son and my daughter. I'll carry you up the rest of your day. Amen. If that burden that you're carrying is too heavy, give it over to me. I'll carry it for you. I'll give you a light leg, my yoke. Amen. That is Jesus. Now, many of you heard that before, but it's always good to go over these things. Sort of like John 3 16. You've all heard of it. But hey, I mean, does that mean we're not supposed to read it anymore? When we heard something, that's enough. I don't have to read that anymore. I know that already. So, but you know what? God can impart new things in all his word all the time. His word is life breathing, amen? It's ever changing. As you walk with the Lord, the word changes with your walk. It speaks to you. It comes to know you. It embraces you. And you get to know it, and he gets to know you. Amen? And he's just waiting. He says, you ever go in your Bible and go, oh, Lord, what do you want me to read today? He knows what you need to read today. Because he spent time with you when you were reading your word. He's in the Word, He's next to you, He's in you, He's everywhere. He's part of that time that you're spending reading the Word. You're not reading it alone. You are home alone and you're by yourself. I'm telling you right now, Jesus is with you in all those places. He's sitting right next to you. He's loving you. He's saying, notice me, speak to me, pray to me. I love you. Amen? Hallelujah. So remember this poem, amen? You can look it up on the internet, right? It was written by Mary uh, Stevenson, amen? Amen. So it's because of this never-failing, chain-breaking love that we have been provided a new path or a new way to live, amen? You know, when the Christians first became uh, saved and walking with Jesus, they didn't even call them Christians. That was a, that was a bad name. We would have considered calling up Christians being uh, not politically correct. Amen? They were called the way. That was their name. Because Jesus was the way, so they called them walkers of the way. Amen? But they weren't called Christians. Amen? Because he is the way. And they knew it. Amen? He was the one that needed to be fought. Amen? Hallelujah. And he came as the Son of God. And he came as Jesus. Amen? And wherever he laid his head, whether it was in the desert, whether it was in a town, whether it was on a mountain, wherever he went, he proclaimed the good news. He proclaimed the good news that, that thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Amen? Amen. He preached kingdom. He didn't preach church. Amen. Don't get me wrong, I'll go to church, okay? But he preached about the kingdom. He preached about the kingdom of God. That's what he came to preach about. Thy kingdom's coming. Hallelujah. Be ready when the gates open and Jesus comes out to get you. Make sure your oil uh, lantern stills and ready to go because he's coming. I'm warning you, he's coming. Don't go, eh, I'll leave it half empty when he comes on this go get some more because you come back, he's already gone. That's not a good plan. Amen. Be ready every day. Be filled every day. Let the Holy Spirit move in your breath every day. Let his love have his way with your heart. Amen. Because he wants to spend time with you. That's the whole thing. And yet, God wants to spend 
that's what he wants. Amen. You know how much it must have hurt him the day that Adam and Eve ate that apple? He was walking around with them in the, in the garden of Eden. And he got cut off by the tricks of the devil. Amen. Hallelujah. Because of one act. Amen. Man, we got, we're turning that around in our lives. We died to that old man. We've been resurrected. We are new. We are born again. We are new creations. You are not that person that walked the earth before you became saved. You are new. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Born again. Hallelujah. Walk as a son of God, as a daughter of God. It's a high calling. Amen. You don't have to be a pastor to get a high calling. Amen. Walking as a, a man of God or a woman of God is a high calling. Amen. This world is rough. There's storms out there. There's wolves out there trying to get ass. Amen. We walk as children of God in the army of God. Amen. Praise Jesus. Proclaiming his gospel. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is so good. I belong to Jesus. Myself, I belong to Jesus. Amen. I was bought by his blood. He died brutally of his own free will so that I can have a new life. And he did the same thing for you. He died so that you can have a new life. It's amazing. While we were yet sinners, but we didn't care anything about God. We didn't care about church. We didn't care about giving. We didn't care about any of this stuff. Even in those times, he loved you enough to die for you. Amen. He didn't come to go, I'm a sinner. Forget that. Look at that drunk. Look at that mess of life. I'm not dying for them. I'm only dying for those few. No. While you were yet sinners, he died for you for your sin. It's amazing. That he would love us that much. Hallelujah. He came down like a life preserver in a storm and rescued us. He rescued us. Love came down and set us free from the hand of the devil. Grabbing us like a dog on a leash. You come here and you do this, you'll do that. Have another one of these, have another one of those. Dog. Jesus came and cut that leash and said, No, no more. There'll be no leash. They're no slave to sin. They're a servant of the Most High God. Choose me, he said. I'll give you freedom. I won't keep you in bondage. You won't be a slave anymore. You, I will call you friend if you obey me. Just talk. Come to Jesus. Amen. You can have it all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's like, have you guys ever seen a firing squad, a firing squad, like on the, you know, the French Foreign Legion or something? And there's a guy standing up there, and he's like, oh, no, it's me. <laughs> I got about 15 seconds, and I'm done, right? And all these guys are, load your weapons. <laughs> and that rifle. <laughs> and you're just really like, don't say fire, don't say fire, please don't say fire. Right? And, and he's about to say fire, and Jesus comes swooping in and goes, I'll take the bullet. Let this man go. Amen? That's the Jesus that we have. He jumped in front of that bullet. Amen? He took that bullet. Amen? He said, I want to save this one. I lay my life down for this one. Man, Jesus took a bullet for you. He took it. You were supposed to die. You were supposed to live and read and pay for all of eternity. Jesus came. He taught us a new way. He showed us a way to glory. He showed us how to stay on the narrow path and avoid that, that other one that looks so good, that's broad, that leads a path to destruction. Amen. He showed us the way. And he 
said, all this way, if anyone shoots anything at you, I'm going to take it for you. I'm going to lead you all the way to eternity. That's Jesus. And that's how I feel about it. I grew up in such a way that many people in the streets where I was at, amen, when they stood for you, when they helped you out, when they were there in the gap, when they said, I'll take it for you, amen, you owed them one, amen, a big one, amen. Well, that's how it is with me and Jesus, and that's how it should be for all of us with Jesus, amen. He took it all for you. Man, he went down to hell when he got done and stole the keys, amen. Hallelujah, he took the keys of Haiti and he chained up the devil, amen. Said, oh man, superhero Jesus, super Jesus, hallelujah, greater than any force that could come against you, greater is he that is in you than is in this world, amen, take this shield, my brother, it'll quench all the fiery darts of the enemy, have my sword, hallelujah, wear my helmet. Where my breastplate of righteousness? You'll be prepared and you'll be ready for battle, amen? Because life is a battle, amen? And it all happened because love. Because love came here. Love came down. Love dwelt with us. It became flesh and dwelt among us. The manifestation of God's agape love on the planet Earth. Jesus Christ, amen? And I want to tell you, he might have died on that cross, but he has rose again, amen? And Jesus is alive, and he's doing great, amen? And he's here with us, amen? Jesus is alive, amen? He's in South Buffalo, he's in the cities, he's in the United States, all over the world. He's in Captain Africa when I go visit there, amen? He's in the... Philippines with the DeSardo family. Hallelujah. He's with Pastor Lucy in her home. He's with you. Amen. He is all around us all the time. Amen. Protecting us from the fiery darts of the enemy. Taking a bullet after a bullet after a bullet after a bullet for you. For you. Because he loves you. Amen. So I choose to say I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. He is my king. Amen. I might have a president in this world, but, it is, but I also belong to a kingdom, and I know who the king of that kingdom is. It's Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody, are you happy about that? Can you praise God about that? That you belong to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bought by his blood. We were bought by his blood. Bought by his blood. And poured out his body. Every drop. Poured out to wash away your sin. So that you could have your sin washed. Hallelujah. You could be born again. You could be filled with the Holy Spirit. And all its power and all its gifts, you can be filled that way. Why? Because of watching with his blood. He poured out his blood for you. Amen. That is a great reason to surrender to Jesus, our Lord and King. Amen. In meditation, amen. Amen. By the way, Rosemary brought me this shirt. What do you think? Bob and Jesus. Thank you, Rosemary. Amen. What a blessing. I love things like that. So sorry. Okay, so in meditation, I have gleefully pondered about his love. I have just a real joy. Amen. And I have asked, how deep is your love? How wide is your love? How high is your love? For me and all those around me. I truly wanted to go deeper. Or to allow him to go deeper with me. To open my arms to him. And allow him to have his way with all of me. Amen? Amen. Very nice.
and sing a song with you right now, amen? It's called Love Came Down, amen? Hopefully, amen. If not, I'll show you how to do it.
Amen. 